Hi everybody, it's Gem Queen again, aka Game Show Guru. I'm going to talk about another game show that I despise to high hell. This this one goes back to 1987. The game was called Bargain Hunters. Yes, ABC's final daytime series for the rest of the 1980s. This game, in my opinion, is ridiculous. It's a poor man's price is right. This program was hosted by former Pressy Luck host Peter Tamarkin, future host of Wipeout in syndication. The reasons why I hate this program is that it's so stupid. The prizes look like you would get this on like the price is right on like the easy, like for the grocery game or something. Jeez. You know, three little mini games, and they were quick, short, and it felt so poorly done. If you really watch a few of these, trust me, you will really feel like you want to bang your head through the wall. This game was an embarrassment. The program was on ABC Daytime from July 6, 1987 to September 4th, 1987 the same day as Wordplay that went off the air on NBC. And this was the final ABC daytime game show for the rest of the 80s. The only game shows that survived in the 80s at that time was Animal Crackups with Alan Thicke. Two Saturday mo uh, one ABC primetime series and a Saturday morning uh, schedule that lasted uh, three seasons. The only reason why I didn't like Bargain Hunters was it didn't feel right. Many of the, the little mini games felt too easy. Most of the contestants didn't have that enthusiasm. The prizes looked like crap. And a lot of other purposes that really tested me beyond words. What bothered me with the game itself was this. The mini games didn't feel like you would win, you know, a decent prize. It looked like if you watch like The Price is Right and you play like the most benign quick mini game of the pricing game and you would win just a group of these prizes, wouldn't you feel like such a bonehead? You're like, oh, you want a dishwasher. Oh, you want a 17, a 18, a 19 inch color TV and a, um, and a, uh, and a range. Would you feel that impressed with going on Bargain Hunters? Just knowing how much they cost? You could probably win that on High Rollers by answering just a series of questions and just knocking out numbers. You know, it might be a gamble or, you know, you'd go on Press Your Luck, you know, and do the same thing, but at least it would feel a little bit more fun. Bargain Hunters didn't feel like a fun game. It felt like watching a very bad experiment for like new pricing games for The Price is Right. I really did not feel any enthusiasm of how this game was done. It really felt that they didn't put any effort to this game. And that bothered me. If you don't put an effort to a series, it belongs as a pilot. And the reason why I hate this game so much is that there was no effort put into anything into this. I feel that Meryl Heater, the person who created this nightmare, just threw it out there for kicks and giggles before doing uh, high rollers in syndication three to two weeks from that day. I'm just saying, I really despised how everything about this game was done. I hated everything about it. I didn't feel impressed by it. Everything about it, in my opinion, was too easy or too boring in 
probably a lot of people's opinions who have seen this series, they probably agree. You know, they really thought the whole point of it was like watching The Price is Right for a half hour, and, you know, and I think that's what it was. I think it was mostly trying to bring, try to bring a, a half hour version of The Price is Right, put in a few mini games, make the little mini showcase showdown, you know, and th I think that was what the whole point of it was. And I think in my opinion, around that time, I think the show itself, in my opinion, was not there. And I completely agree. I was never a fan of Bargain Hunters. I watched this when I was three years old. Three years old watching this on, um, on ABC at 11 o'clock in the morning, and I wished for its downfall. You know? And... What drove me halfway insane watching this, it was like... When I was watching this with my grandmother, she just said it was nothing but a Price is Right, you know... You know, belligerent copy. It's just bringing back the half-hour version of The Price is Right, put the mini pricey games on it, put the showcase show down, and you'd get, like, a prize package, like, you know, The Joker's Wild, and, and playing it that way. And no wonder it didn't survive a long run, because they were trying to copy what The Price is Right was based on. And I totally agree. You know, from watching the, you know, the, the two months on the air growing up as a kid... And watching them now on YouTube from Video Archivers 1000 and, you know, Digifan, you know, and others who have done it, you know, thanks guys. Um, I, I think the show, in my opinion, to this day, you know, as of waiting, you know, like, you know, 25 years, you know, from watching it, I really was not that impressed how the game was built. You know, and I think, in my opinion, the game, it should have croaked after like say a week it should have been an experiment it should have stayed as a pilot and i don't know how in the world it got the green light but since it's going to be a short video about this because there's not really much to you know to express it or you know why i couldn't handle it i just i did as much as i could um write some comments down on my uh on the list please write you know put some comments down if you thought the show was great or what you saw was an improvement or anything like that Please put comments down there. I hope you thank I thank you all for enjoying this cuz I'm going to do a couple of these for the week. There's many of them I want to complain about and that's that's what I'm going to do this whole month. This is a complete game show rants. So um, thank you all for all for enjoying this. I hope you all um, love these videos for the time being. I hope you can see the light of why I despise these programs and everything else, okay? Thank you for all thank you for enjoying this. Thank you all. Mwah. Goodbye everybody.